Well, it's Monday, and we can now see where the dust has settled on Unknown 9 Awakening. What makes this game worth even thinking about is because it's a sweet baby project. And once again, a sweet baby project comes out. And guess what? It's not just broken, but it's bad. Even the gamer, one of the, <laughs> probably, I think, man, they, they, I would call them the new Kotaku because they, I think they're worse than Kotaku in some ways, but even they're not going to try to cover for this game. They give it a 3.5. It's awful. Uh, but to try to say this game is on the same, <laughs> well, I forgot Stellar Blade they knocked down because of the attractive woman, so it's a little bit different. But not getting good reviews, bad user reviews as well. And then the game comes out. It peaks at 169 players on Steam, which is pretty pathetic, right? That's not good. Now it's went up a little bit. It's sitting at 215 peak right now. There's only 109 people playing it, but 215 at some point logged in and played the game on Steam <laughs> yesterday. Uh, the all-time peak for this game is 285, so this game is selling worse than Concord. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Because Concord at least had a couple hundred more players playing it, and then it dropped down quickly to like 200 people. But another sweet baby death kiss has graced a game. Now, the next one that's coming out is going to be really interesting. Let's talk about Dragon Age. So you had a former lead writer for Dragon Age. I don't think he's involved with it anymore. But he came out, uh, just screenshots, grums here. Starts calling everybody incels. I'm sure that's, uh, oh, also, they're, you gamers are animals. Animals and incels, according to him. And he's responding to this post that grums made about him going protected because he called people animals and incels with a broad brush. Uh, when you don't name names... Uh, anybody criticizing your product is going to think that that's what you're saying about them because that's the way it comes off. You're just broad brushing the criticism. Everybody that's making fun of this stupid game is some kind of incel crazy animal person. But he takes another shot here, does it again. I guess this also means a fresh bunch of chuds wandering over here to make fresh accounts just to object. The clever thing to do, you'd think, when incels are mentioned, but you aren't named, would be to stand, would be to not stand and identify yourself. But entities, identities are important. I guess it's true. This isn't even, <laughs> this isn't even the tip of the iceberg on this Dragon Age shit. I guess now they're going to give the game away for free if you sign up with Nvidia. I think yeah, you have to purchase a GeForce Now Ultimate bundle. But if you do that, you get the game for free, which I'm sure will help boost your sales numbers because they don't distinguish, I don't think, between free. Like when they when they show numbers sold, I'm pretty sure if they do that, because it's hard to say if this game isn't going to do well or not. I actually think this game will do, mo like, okay, I think it'll be like a Alan Wake 2 situation. It'll sell okay, but it won't make money. I don't think this game is going to make a profit. I, I definitely don't think you're going to wake up and when this game comes out, you're going to see only 200 people playing it like Sweet Baby. I think you'll see maybe a couple thousand. Hell, it could be a huge hit. It's got a name behind it. But if it does become a huge hit, I bet you it falls off a cliff once people get to see what this is. That's just a prediction. We'll see if it comes true or not. But as mounting evidence points to poor sales... BioWare partners with NVIDIA to give Dragon Age the Veil Guard away for free. So like I said, if you buy this GeForce Now Ultimate Bundle, you get the game for free. So the GeForce Now Ultimate Bundle costs $99.99 for, months, for six months, and along with Dragon Age the Veil Guard, includes GeForce RTX 480 rig RTX on and access to 4TX 
480 servers, up to 4K resolution and 120 FPS. No ads and an eight-hour session length. So here's the limited time offer right here. Ultimate, $99.99 for six months. It really doesn't seem like you're getting it for free. <laughs> you get a little bit more stuff, but that's a lot. Whatever you, whatever floats your boat, if you want to get it, it, that's up to you. But as you know, we've had pre-order numbers, kind of some numbers. Uh, it's fun to compare those to pre-orders that he's mentioned before. I totally believe that he does know somebody that's given him these numbers, and he's been he's been fairly correct so far when he's thrown pre-orders out, and we see how they actually perform when the game drops, and they're usually pretty similar. Like, I think this will translate to decent sales, but like I said, I don't think this game is going to make a profit. That's just my, that's my prediction. There's no hype for it. I don't really see anybody talking about it. Even like when you look at this, this is nice that they have this on here, this Google Trends. Like you can see the game is getting crushed in interest by sparking and metaphor. Games that actually have hype. And people are actually interested in those games. And you see that reflection when you search it, you look up stuff like, I see Dragon Ball sparking content all over the place. Everybody excited, sharing clips of their fights and talking about it, comparing things. The same thing with metaphor. I see people talking about that and stuff that they like about the game. And then Dragon Age, if I see anybody talking about it, they're making fun of it. So I just, I know I'm really curious to how this game performs. Like, here they are comparing to Suicide Squad. Look at this. In fact, the game is nowhere near the peak of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League when the game released at the end of February. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how this game performs. We'll find out soon. I think it comes out, yeah, October 31st. So, I mean, we're right there. Only a few more days, and we're going to get to find out how this game does. What are your predictions? Let me ask you guys, in the comments, let me know what you think this game is going to do. Do you think it's going to be a hit? Do you think it's going to fall flat? Do you think it'll be mediocre in sales? Let me know what you guys think. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.